Hi, welcome you to this leak where today we're look, talking about our training courses, specifically a W2 grain based spirits course. Now, W2 used to be called our moonshine and whiskey course. Now, without getting into a completely sidetracked and into arguments, when we refer to moonshine, it might not be what some people refer to as moonshine. In common practice, moonshine these days covers a wide spectrum of spirits, mostly sugar washes, but basically people refer to moonshine as any illicitly or homemade uh, spirit, and regardless of what they want to do, they refer to that as moonshine. Now, our definition of moonshine is slightly different. We define moonshine as a grain-based spirit, an unaged, unwooded grain-based spirit, what a lot of people refer to as new make spirit in the whiskey making process. So, product made from grain, distilled from grain, retaining the flavor of the grain, not vodka, where we've removed the flavor of the grain, but retaining the flavor of the grain, but it did not go into a barrel. A lot of people would disagree with this uh, definition. It's our definition. That's what, the way we define moonshine. It's the traditional way of defining moonshine before flavoring and all the other things came around as well. Now, as I said, the, uh, the course used to be called Moonshine and Whiskey course. We changed that when we incorporated vodka distilling into the W2 course as well. It used to be that W3 was our vodka from potatoes course, uh, but it kind of de de defeated the purpose. There was no point anymore in presenting vodka from potatoes as a separate course because the techniques of working with potatoes and working with grain is exactly the same. You have to go through a starch conversion process. And the fact is that these days, most vodka is not made from potatoes. It's made from grain. So it made more sense to combine the two courses into one course. So now W2 grain-based spirits covers moonshine as per our definition of moonshine, whiskey, which includes bourbon as well, of course, and then finally vodka as well. So everything to do with grain-based spirits is covered in our W2 course. Now the W2 course has a prerequisite course and that's C1 introduction to distilling. You have to do C1 introduction to distilling first before you can do W2. Now the reason for that is that C1 introduction to distilling gives you the foundation upon which we build in all our other courses. So you learn the basics of firstly safety during distillation, legal owned distilling in South Africa, uh, the basic principles of distilling, but then we build on that by uh, building the foundation of fermentation, distillation, and spirit enhancement. A complete overview of everything that you need to know in order to make a fermentation, in order to do a distillation, and in order to enhance your spirit afterwards. This includes techniques like dilution, airing and evaporation, infusion, and so on and so forth. We then take that knowledge and in W2, we add on to that the specific techniques you need to understand in order to, uh, to make that category of spirits using the information obtained from C1. Now, W2 has two master principles. Our master principles are techniques that we focus on, on specific in specific courses in order to increase your understanding and skill set as a distiller, to become a better distiller, to become a more informed dis uh, distiller. And the more of these master principles you master, the better all-round distiller you will become. Now, in W2, we focus on two master principles. The first master principle is starch conversion. How do I turn an unfermentable carbohydrate molecule into a fermentable, simple sugar, glucose and fructose molecule? How do I do starch conversion? Now, obviously, in that conversation, there's a lot of things that we talk about. We talk about malt, the malting process, the role of malted barley, uh, where, where does peat fit into the picture? We look at enzymes, concentrated alpha amylase and glucoamylase enzymes, as well as all the other enzy enzymes, beta amylase, limidextrinase, and so on and so forth. But everything you need to know in order to do a starch conversion, we cover that. That's the one master principle we cover in the W2 grain-based spirits course. The other master principle we look at is multiple distillations and high reflux distillations. Multiple distillations referring, of course, to double distilled, triple distilled spirits, but then high reflux distillations referring to the process that we use in order to make vodka, stripping out all flavor, what we refer to as rectifying runs as well. When we make a neutral spirit or we make a vodka, 
in order to turn that, sell that as a product or turn it into different products in the case of a gin, for instance. So that's the two master principles that we do in our W2 course. And that's the type of information that you can expect when you join us for the W2 online course or in the relatively new future when COVID-19 is gone and we can resume normal operations again, we will start presenting W2 again in-house at our training facility at Distalik.